looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'll be going over a few things. We got the Derwin James, the free 97 overall Derwin James. We do have the training bypass. We have veterans for Wildcard Wednesday, guys. We have a few things I do want to go over and a few things I do want to reference here. Guys, I'm super excited about the Sterwin James, right? Now, even if you didn't get him for free, you still can get him for a pretty good price using training. So I will go through all that, which is why I'm excited for this. Because I hate it back when they used to do stuff like this. But if you if you like the team of the year solos, right? If you miss one little thing, you get screwed. This is opportunities for people who did grind it, maybe missed one, to still be able to finish it. Or people who completely missed it. To still be able to partake in it which is definitely cool so people get it either for free so people gotta pay but at the end of the day everyone gets a fair slate right if you didn't ground all the way you pay some if you did ground all the way you get it for free you know everyone everyone wins in this scenario right because what would suck is if you know people do grind it all this year you give them makeup solos like okay why was i why was i grinding this right or vice versa for people who uh didn't grind it's like damn so just because i didn't you know i didn't have the game before christmas or when this started i, I don't get to have it now so i do i do like this uh the way they do this but guys, before we do get into the video, make sure to below, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know if you think the Derwin James is a W or L, guys. Like commenting and liking helps a lot, so keep it up. If you guys need coins, head over to my reserve and use code Poodle at checkout. And of course, guys, let's get into this. I'm super excited. Now, Derwin James' power up is 14K right now. That was expected. You have to imagine when people get that many free cards, it's like whatever. Whenever you get a free card that's good, you want to power it up. Like most people, like they got a lot of team of the year power ups went up because I got Brandon Scherf. And I want to power him up. It's, it's, only, it's only a right guard. But because you know you're stuck with him for a while and that's your guy, why not power him up, right? It's kind of just like the thing you do when you when you end up with a card that you're stuck with that's actually a good overall. That you're going to have in the rest for, you're gonna, you're gonna have for the rest of the year, right? Now, Derwin James basically, wow, that skyrocketed too. So it's basically, it's now 45K, uh, his other one. So he's 334K right now. So let's go over the stats in Derwin James. And I'll show you guys the free stuff and how you get him. Okay, so Derwin James... Overall, it looks super good. 95 speed, 97 acceleration, 89 tackle, 96 play rec, 95 pursuit, 94 man, 95 zone coverage, and 96 hit power. This card's ridiculous. Powered up and chemed up. Remember, he's six foot two. That gets a good height. Powered up and chemed up, he will have 96 speed and 98 excel. Now, he can't get up to 98 speed with sprinter. His tackle will be above 90. His play rec with lockdown will be 99. His pursuit will be 96. His man coverage with lockdown will be a 99. His zone coverage with lockdown will be a 99. And his hit power will be a 97. This is the best strong safety in Madden right now. I'm pretty sure hands down. 80 strength is solid as well. Catching 76. Change of direction 91. Impact blocking 77. Press 88, which again with lockdown will be over 90. So you can press as well. Now the block shot 72 is a little bit lower, but again, this is gonna be probably the best, best hybrid. They call him a run support safety, but he definitely feels like more of a coverage safety with that block shot. But still, still really, really good. This Derwin James is insane. If you got it for free, guys, good stuff to you guys because that, that that was worth it. I missed a few, so I actually didn't get it, but um, I did get. I almost got enough for I believe two of the players that I missed out on the last one. Now I think they are giving away one free one or something like that. I forgot, I forgot what the details were with that. Like if you showed up between 7 and 10 last night. some I don't know if it was last night or when it is. But if you show up between 7 and 10. I think you get like one of the players for free. One of the 90 overalls. But I could be wrong. Now moving on down guys. So Derwin James was great. He's pretty. I mean you can buy him though. But he's pretty expensive. 333k. Now if we could do is guys. If you, actually, if you happen to have Derwin James powered up already. You can go ahead. And there will be a power up uh, training option. Like when you power pass him. So what you would do is. As you're powering him up, you'd get to like his 97 overall card. And instead of putting the card in, it would offer like, okay, like 40,000 training, 35, 40, 50, whatever it is, thousand training. And now I replace the spot of Derwin James. Now, when you do the math, the training is probably cheaper than it actually costs to get the Derwin James. But if you don't have him powered up already, it can end up being quite expensive because the thing with Derwin James is his base elite is 45 grand. His uh, rising stars, another, I just say 45 grand, right? That's gonna be 90,000 coins just in cards that you need to power them up. Then the power up's an additional 14K. So you realistically were over a little over 100K just to get him to the power to point. 
that's not including all the training it cost in between upgrades and then from 89 to 97 remember there's probably gonna be like another 15,000 to 20,000 worth of training of upgrades there so you're looking at about i would say 150k or plus give or take just to get the card to a 97 then you gotta power it up so if you use the power training option it may end up being closer to 300k total to power them up now remember is that still better value than this card? Technically, because it may be the same price, if not cheaper, to have him at a 98 powered up versus having it at a 97 base. So again, if you don't have him powered up already, it could still be worth it. But again, it's going to be way more expensive. If you have to have him powered up already, then it's beautiful. All you got to do is just use the training, go through with it. Or you can just pick him up base, rock with him for a bit. And if you really like him powered up later, it really comes down to what you guys prefer. Because I know some people have different um, feelings towards powering up players. Or going all the way or some people don't have all the coins just go up all the way right away not to mention the sterling james being you know 50k is kind of ridiculous if i were you guys i would find your old power pass that's you know the 80s 84 whatever it was 82 84 whatever whatever the low one was i would recommend you go find that one and use it and get Derwin james upgraded for free on the low one and then maybe even the 89 as well because at this point in the year you probably don't even care for those power passes anymore on most players that's a super cheap card it just so happens he's in your brand new car that everyone wants and if you're lucky, maybe you have Derwin James in your binder as well. Now, guys, we do have a few. Uh, we do have a few heavyweights, I believe, or no? I don't know if it was, I don't know if it was heavyweights or veterans. But we do have a few of them that are coming. We do have a few veterans that are coming out today that I do want to go over. I'm gonna go over the two of the ones that are coming out. I won't be home for the 10:30 reveal of all of them, so I'm gonna go over a few of the ones that will be out for you guys. I'll just show you. I know people don't really care about veterans, anyways. So that's not the biggest of deals. But I'm gonna go over it. Let's see what we're we'll see what we're dealing with. And yeah, guys, if you don't know what set I was referring to, I'm gonna go back real quick. Uh, over all the way over here. It was right over there, Darren James versus the world. And this was Darren James Master. You go ahead, you, you put your tokens in. Well, first, you got to put the tokens into these sets down here. So you go Jalen Ramsey, Chubb, and Keenan Allen. Put the tokens in, collect them all, get the three players, and you put those players into the set. And that's where you get your free Derwin James, which was even available last night at 7 p.m. Eastern time. It's been a while, guys. I think that's, that's been going on since, what, November? October, December? I don't know, it's, but it's been a long time, so... Hopefully, you guys took advantage of that. I know that I, I, I sure took advantage of some of it. Oh, it started not September. It was at September it started. Wow, that's been a, it's been a long grind, guys. But overall, it was worth it for most people. But yeah, let's get, let's get into the veterans. One of the veterans that we do have is Logan Ryan from my New York Giants. Now, Logan Ryan, free safety. If you guys been around football or Madden long enough, I remember the days when Logan Ryan was just like that team of the week cornerback on the Titans. Like, I remember back when he was just like that guy that got cards and he's like, oh, like, you know, like, you know, those cornerbacks in the NFL that like you don't consider top tier. Like, you're just like, they're just like in the league. Like, they do their job. They get good Madden cards. Like, Logan Ryan used to be one of those guys. You know what I mean? Like, he was one of those. Like, I, I can't give a good example of those guys. Those, like, secondary guys that just get cards. Like, they, you don't consider like a lead. They're just like those guys. But Logan Ryan was always one of those guys. So, as he's gotten later in his career, he's starting to solidify himself as a more bona fide, like, stud at this point. So, it's kind of cool to see. At free safety now, of course, though. You know, he used to be a cornerback in Madden all the time. Now, Logan Ryan, 92 speed, 94 excel, 89 tackle, 91 play rec, 90 per 92 pursuit, 90 man, 93 zone. 75 hit power. So, he has no hit power at all. Will not lay the boom. Not a lot of speed. I mean, the zone will get up to a 98, not even a 99. So, overall, this card's kind of screwed. No 99 zone, no hit power, no 99 man, no good speed. And he's a free safety. I mean, he's really not going to do much much work. But we we know the veterans is uh, veterans always been pretty bad. I mean, we never really expect veterans to be banger. That's just kind of the the sad reality of you know partaking in anything with this promo. But we do have another card. Let's go check out him. Maybe he will be a little bit better. Next we have a Lat Murray, Latavius Murray for the New Orleans Saints. Back up to uh, Alvin Kamara. Pretty good running back. But of course, he's behind Alvin Kamara. And there was a point where people thought that he would be the new Mark Ingram behind Alvin Kamara, getting, you know, like a good portion of the touches, but that was not the case. Alvin Kamara just went crazy instead. A lot Murray, I guess, just they don't seem as good as Mark Ingram, or they just want to let Kamara eat, which is why they let Mark Ingram go in general. But anyways, Lat Murray, 92 speed, 94 excel, 90 agility, 94 carrying, 75 catching, 84 change of direction, 93 trucking, and of course, 80, 94 break tackle. So the cards are good, has some good power, has some good excel. The speed is too low, and I don't believe it's a power-up. So, for those reasons alone, again, another unusable card. 92 speed at this point in the year just isn't usable, especially on a running back. And the thing is, he doesn't get a power-up. So, without that power-up, you can't switch his chems, you can't switch his teams and everything, usually, unless they have different veterans. But I don't really, I don't, I never mess with veterans at all. 
And again, the speed's just too low. And that change of direction is bad. It's gonna be like a Derrick Henry. It's like that. That's like the uh, Christmas Derrick Henry, except much, except just slower. Can't catch. Yeah, both these cards are pretty useless. But again, that'd be the point with most veteran cards. You guys have to just understand that at this point. But that is about it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy today's video, always smash the like button and comment down below. Let me know which of the Derwin James was a dub to you guys today. Did you get him for free? Let me know down below. Commenting and liking always helps. So keep it up. Uh, turn on the noti bell. Subscribe to the channel. Of course, if you haven't done that as well. That also helps. Uh, my, my my mental uh, and uh, guys yeah if you need coins head over to my reserve down below and use code poodle for a discount at checkout pick up some coins that's about it enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace